Mesa Arts and Foam Fighters. Um, this week we're, we've been hammered with some snow, so we've been kind of cooped up and um, designed some pretty cool stuff. So, Ty, I want you to look at the, we call it the Diablo, and um, we're trying to get the kids into designing their own quads using a 3D printer. And so, this, this, this uh, case up front, or shell, or whatever you want to call it, we got the design concept from the Lamborghini Diablo. Um, it serves really no purpose but to make it look cool and to protect the electronics if it does you know, flip over. But this was all designed in 123D design and then we exported it out on STL and put it on the, on the uh, MakerBot and it came out pretty, pretty cool. Um, the arms, the arms are, are definitely not us. The arms were designed um, by, a, um, by a user named Gyrobot and Jared actually has it up. I'm going to come over here to see it. You want to go up to the spider one? I think it's on page one. This is, yeah, this one right here. So we went to Spider 500, and here's the actual arms and the chassis. We really liked it. It was simplistic, um, and so what we did was downloaded it, and then we were able to print them off on the printers. Um, the only thing that we wanted to do differently was um, we wanted to create a different chassis. So. The chassis is actually a little bit longer than his specs so that we can um, actually place the, um, the Diablo you know, shell up on top. And it ended up working out really, really well. Now we, we got a little smarter and um, we wanted to create a, a gimbal for the front. And so one, on our design days we actually had the kids on 123D design this gimbal and draw it out and it's the same um, specs and same design uh, that uh, Creasy, the simple, super simple gimbal, um, he's the SSG, he has his own YouTube account, it's all down the links um, and they show how to, he shows how to make that thing and it actually works out alright so if I'm to just plug it in here you can see that the gimbal, no matter what I do to the helicopter, it always stays level with the horizon hopefully. Okay, now in order to, to get that to function with the quadcopter, um, we had to flash the KK2 because when we first bought these KK2s it was like version 1.2 and so that was like finding a needle in a haystack on the internet but we finally did and we used um, KK2 version from RC911 I think it's like 1.9 version maybe or 1.8 I think and it allows for the uh, channels seven and eight to be used for those servos to make that that make that gimbal setting, and so on the on-screen display it actually shows all that those um, modifications to it. And it's it's actually really really easy, um, and I, I really like it. And they also um, they also edited the stabilization mode on it, and it's it makes the quadcopter fly amazing. So in the description for our flight test article, what I'll do is we kind of have our own little cheat sheet and uh, it actually shows you know, the settings that we use for all four of our channels and so that if you guys want to use um, our settings for your quadcopter, um, then you guys can go ahead and use, use ours because it's, it's really working out well for us. Um, but it's actually a pretty cool project and um, hope, you know, kids are already starting to work on some future designs and, and trying to mess around with it because the 3D printers, they make stuff so much easier and the material is so strong that I think it's, it's, it should be fun, especially since we're cooped up with the snow. Um, there's not a whole lot of flying going on. So let's go out to the, the back. I think we have a, a dry patio that we can at least test it out and we brought some people with us to test, a, test the, the quadcopter out and see what they think and maybe we'll even try to do some FPV with it. And, and kind of go from there. Let's go out to the backyard and, and test it out. All right, let's try this thing out. The props make it a lot quieter.
you can see how state much more uh, a lot more stable that the new version of the uh, firmware is on the KK2 board. It's just a lot a lot easier. No, you use a NASA, right? Yeah. What do you think the difference? Anything on difference or? Um, well, the biggest difference is that the uh, DJI's got the um, all the a lot more features to it. Yeah. It's got return to home and stabilization. And but in terms of like the flight characteristics, what do you um, think? I think they're actually probably really close. Okay. They're both very nice. Danny's actually better than I am. I can just float in front of me. That's about it. <laughs> I'd almost think with this new uh, update that you put on this that this is almost better. Than the NASA? Yeah, at least in its uh, stock mode. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like there's a little bit of oscillation, huh? I know that battery's not fully charged, so just be careful. All right, so the reason why I like Danny coming back is that he actually has a little more experience with quads than we do. And for me, I, I'm not that good yet. I, I have to stay butt back <laughs> and stay hovering around in order for it to, to work. I know how they work and how they function and stuff, but in terms of flying, I'm just not quite there yet. But, uh, you know, you've had experience with NASA and actually had H quad, X quad, and all that kind yeah. of stuff. And, yeah. and you like the, the newer version because you've flown with the old 1.2 version yeah. that we had. Yeah. And then we reflashed it with the new RC 911s. Um, yeah, this firmware. one's definitely a lot better. Cool. Awesome. Well, the frame, I'm hoping they get this frame all kind of uh, um, designed and, and done so that you guys can, if those of you who have 3D printers, I know it's kind of, um, you know, limited. limited but um, also make that design available to you guys so you guys can download and, you know, mess around with it, including the Diablo case and, and all that kind of stuff. The gimbal was really cool. I think there's a little things we need to tweak out with it, but for the most part, it's, um, you know, it's... It's a pretty cool feature to have. So we're gonna let the other guys fly it around and see what they think, and then uh, we'll close up this shop. GoPro on. It was just sitting flat on this plate. When we were flying it, we noticed that there's a lot of vibration with it. So we got some earplugs, and what we did is we cut them in half, glued them on, and put the GoPro on top, so hopefully stop the vibrations. <laughs> 